Metal Senior High School. I am very excited um, to be here today. Welcome you all to our open house. I'm the ninth and 10th grade counselor here at Baldwin Middle Senior High School. I've been here for six years and I am proud to say that. Um, so we're just going to jump right in and let you know that um, here at our counseling department, we strive to um, deliver um, the best customer service that we can to you and your student. And with that being said, we offer um, three different types of counseling supports and services, which would include academic, social, and career in college. So I'm going to right now show you and go over just a quick PowerPoint um, that will kind of let you know a little bit about our services and what we provide and how we are going to be able to help you and your student um, have a successful school year. So I do have a counseling team that helps to support me. Most importantly is our 11th and 12th grade counselor, Mrs. Granger, who is our department chair and also our dual enrollment coordinator. Um, she's the one that um, really schedules most of our college on-site visits and helps our students with the paperwork for dual enrollment um, and getting ready to prepare for that test, the PERT test, um, if they are interested in dual enrollment. Um, we also have Ms. Margaret who works, Ms. Margaret Wilbright, who works as our mental health counselor through full service schools that is here to provide intensive mental health services for our children once referred. Um, in regards to graduation requirements, um, you can always find this information online through Department of Education, on our school website, on our guidance blog, and students have access to this on Microsoft Teams. Um, so we know that they need our 24 credits to graduate and they need a 2.0. That is the most, that's the most important thing they need to know right now. We have academic programs that we provide for our students that, of course, they need a GPA and they need the test scores to be a part of. But if your student happens to be interested in one of these four programs, the AP Capstone, Early College, Embry-Riddle um, Dual Enrollment or Dual Enrollment through FSCJ or Edward Borders, please tell them to seek their counselor and I'll help provide them with information um, in order to, to, to start those programs. So we know that there are important things that your student needs to do in order to ensure that they are successful in their academics. So making sure that they're talking with their counselor, we meet with them at least twice a year. We do credit checks with them. Um, if they are having or needing supports in their classroom that they know to come to us, they know to communicate with their teacher and how to advocate for themselves. Um, if they're getting an F, a failing grade, knowing what safety nets are in place, knowing that they can get some type of credit recovery on Florida Virtual School, Knowing what classes have EOCs, the end of the year course exams that they need for graduation. We want to help make and set a plan for our students so that they have something that they are working towards, some goals that they're working towards. So we talked about the Florida Virtual School. We they cannot take no more than three courses on Florida Virtual School, and it has to be approved by the counselor. They can also take just additional courses that may serve of interest to them if they don't want to take the foreign language that we offer here, which is Spanish, and want to take something such as Latin. They're able to do that on Florida Virtual School. The most important thing we want our kids to know is to pass the class the first time. Pass it the first time. So we're not talking about grade recovery. We don't have to have all these meetings. Structure your time appropriately. Make it make it set a calendar for yourself. Have some type of planner. Putting it in your phone. Stay or staying organized can help you with that. So with those academic supports, um, we want to make we're as counselors, we're monitoring the parent, the, the focus portal. We want you to do the same, understanding when my child has what assignments they have, when is the due date, if they completed those assignments, what is the grading rubric for those teachers? So making sure you have that teacher syllabus, make a copy that would be very, very helpful 
to you. Um, we schedule those parent teacher conferences. They're held after school. A lot of times they can be held during the day. And since now we're doing them virtually, we're able to kind of have a little bit more flexibility. But if we're doing them during the day, only that teacher that actually has a planning time during that period can both be available. But if it's something where you want to meet with all of the teachers, we would do that after school um, virtually right now during this pandemic. Um, we offer the multi-tier system of supports, which is our response to intervention if your student is failing. So you might receive a letter on that and to um, be participating in a meeting. Um, we monitor attendance, making sure your children are coming to school every day is very important. For ninth grade right now, um, right now specifically for ninth grade, we will be administering the BMOS, um, which is a behavioral intervention monitoring assessment that asks about 24 questions. And with those 24 questions, we want to assess how your students have been feeling within the last two weeks. If they flag on it, a counselor will, myself, will follow up with them. Um, we may recommend doing individual counseling. We may recommend a referral to full service school if it's more in depth. So just know that that will be coming soon. There will be an opt out letter if you are not interested in your student um, participating. And again, that's only for ninth grade students. We have our Wellness Wednesdays at our back that will take place once a month. Um, that has pretty much like group activities with the teacher to help support that emotional health. Um, we still have our restorative justice supportive circles for other students who are kind of dealing with some behavioral challenges as well. Here are a list of some resources, some academic college career resources to help your student as they prepare for testing. So a lot of these tests are critical because they can be used as concordance scores, especially the PSAT, which will be administered October the 14th. If your student hasn't taken the Algebra 1 EOC, that score for PSAT, if they do well, concordance score can be used, which is the graduation requirement. OK, so it's important. And we'll have our Jets Goes to College Week, which I'm excited about with a, a lot of different career and college activities that will be promoted leading up to our National College Fair that also will be done virtually this year and that represents all the colleges all over the world. Um, we want our parents to get involved. Um, we have a school counselor advisory council that meets at least twice a year, one in the spring and one in the fall. We encourage you all to attend and give us some ideas on how we can help improve our guidance program. We also have a SAC committee that meets um, every other Tuesday of the month and consists of parents and community stakeholders helping to formulate goals for our school, how we're going to utilize funding. This is a very very important thing to get involved with. So I encourage our parents to come on and attend. Um, our PTA board has been inactive, but we would like to get it back activated and running. Um, we know that parents, you know, you are the toughest advocate for your child. So we encourage you to get involved so that we can kind of help, you know, have uh, more access to services that other schools have. We want those things here for our students at Baldwin. So get involved. Um, and again, kids, pass your class the first time. Parents, students, make sure you have access to your email so that if you want to be able to contact me, myself for any reason to schedule a meeting, we can do that via email. My email is located on the screen at mcgilla1 at duvalschools.org. Um, also, my telephone number, 266-1200-999923. There are my, I'm here from 705 to 225, Monday through Friday. So I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care.